God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, thank you. Um, I will be doing these little quick messages longer than a short, but not so longer than, not that much longer than five minutes to get these words out that God has been given to me to share to you all um, in the coming weeks. So as you can see, the word for today is you will kill the burden. Let me give you my context, scripture context on that. And it is in Second Kings chapter 4, verses 8 through 37. Now, I won't read the whole thing, but this basically talks about how Elisha arrived at the rich woman's place and she literally created a space for him to move, right? And she did that. With no problem. She did that. She took care of him. She didn't charge him any money. In fact, she created his own quarters for him to live and stay there. Okay. Now, if you go on to read the entire text, which I would, you know, encourage you to, I told you these are not very long, so I'm not going to read all like 20 something verses, but I want you to get the context and what happens as a result of her um, building that place for the prophet. Okay. Not only that, I also want to reference Matthew eleven twenty eight through 30. And it talks about how um, the Lord is saying, listen, come to you when you are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. Take my, po- my, excuse me, my yoke upon you and learn from me. And I am gentle and I'm humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So I want to just tell you something really quickly. You, many of you are embarking on a season where you're coming out of a place where your burdens were heavy. And the Lord has illuminated that scripture, that Matthew 11, 28, and he has begun to make your burdens light. But there will be many people who you will soon encounter that you may even know right now. And they have not yet felt God making that burden light. That's scripture, so it applies to all of us, right? So let me tell you what this part applies to you if this is your message. God is going to use you to kill the burden. So you're saying, okay, let me put it together for me, Robin. Let me show you how God showed it to me. So however your burden was made lighter, God did something for you to help you with that, whatever that may be. We all have different things that we deal with. And we know by definition, a burden usually has a negative connotation, meaning it's a heavy load. Heavy load doesn't necessarily mean a bad load, but usually when something is heavy and we have to carry it, it makes it a bit harder and more of a struggle to to get to your destination. Well, the Lord basically saying, listen, I'm going to make your burden light. A burden is equivalent to a load, but he's just saying it's not going to be a heavy load. So you can take that load along with you and you can get by a lot faster and you can get things done more efficiently, right? Now, where you're going to be coming into this season for someone and for some of you, for multiple people, God is going to call you to kill the burden. In turn, that is going to make their burden light. So God is going to use you for the manifestation of Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 30. So I'll give you an example. Now we know what the word kill is. So it's like, I know that's a, that's a pretty, that's a, that's a word, right? That's a bit of a hard word, but let me explain something to you. When you, by definition to kill, right, is to end something to cause it to stop. Okay. So this is the beautiful thing about why God is calling you to kill a burden. For some of you, you are doing so well in life. God is going to call you to maybe pay somebody's car off. He may cause you to buy somebody a house. He may cause you to pay for somebody's bill or get their lunch for the week or just bless them with money or just, um, You might have a skill set they need and say, you know what, I got it. You might be somebody who you just graduated college and one of your friends, you know, they're coming into the next season and you got $1,200 worth of books and they need all the books and you just going to give them the books. So what I'm saying is killing the burden for many people is going to be there exceedingly abundantly. It's going to be their miracle work. It's going to be God taking that thing to the next level for them, right? God is going to use you to do it. God is going to cause you to be like the rich woman in second Kings. God is going to cause you to be the person to be led by your spirit to say, listen, I am called to come and help you to do that. So this is what I want to tell you. Do not be, do, do not begrudgingly do this. 
Do not fight God on this. This is connected to the miracles, signs, and wonders that are ahead for you. And what you have to understand is this. When she did that for him, he was able to bless her in a way that didn't even seem humanly possible in her eyes. So just know something in your obedience and killing the burden, taking it a step up from the bird being lighter. God, see, when God talks about doing supernatural things and when he talks about, oh, my God, it was a miracle. God is technically using you to be a miracle because the scripture is saying, hey, listen, I will make your burden light. But then if you go to Ephesians 3.20, which I talked about the other day, he's basically saying, listen, I will exceed. I will exceed what you're thinking. So God is going to use you to help exceed this blessing for the person. Because here's the thing. If you kill the burden, that means you might make they, you might get rid of the debt. It's literally no longer a burden. They can move on. They don't ever have to revisit it again. So imagine, imagine. You go from somebody that's a blessing to somebody who literally killed the burden, the burden that possibly had them in depression, anxiety, whatever. They may need $50,000 to get a project done. And you say, you know what? I got you. They may need they may need $20 to, to get from point A to point B. They may say, man, I done did the math. And if I fill up my car with gas, I'm not going to have no lunch money. The Lord might say, hey, look, I want you to go and take them $200, fill a car up with gas, Get them some groceries and give them another 200 so when they got to fill up the tank again, they can do it two more times. You have to be open. It may not necessarily be monetary. Please don't get caught up in that. It can be a skill set. It can be a time. In fact, some of you, God is going to call some of you who don't normally give people words of encouragement to do it. And it's not going to be so much of what you say, but it's going to be the fact that you said it because they're not used to you doing something like that. So I want you to be encouraged and I want you to pray and I want you to move because some of you already know I'm talking to you and this was just the confirmation you need. And don't forget, it's not just money. It could be time. It could be effort. It could be skill set. But God is just not using you in this season to be a blessing. He's using you to be somebody's miracle. You are going to literally represent the supernatural to somebody. You are literally going to kill something and end the burden. You are going to end the sadness. You are going to end the problem that had this person going, going crazy. God is going to use you and is literally going to change their lives. God bless y'all. That's a beautiful word. Get excited. And just know something. Let me say this before I go out. Watch what happens upon your obedience in doing it. It's going to blow your mind. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.